It's catalog day. So we knew this was coming. Lionel announced this a couple weeks ago that we were going to see the catalog on the 12th of January. And by golly, it's the 12th. And then they dropped it early on us today, which was just uh, a pleasant surprise for those of you that weren't at work. Uh, you know, I just got home from work. It is 5.05 and I basically came home, said hello to my wife and kids and came right down to the basement to make this for all of you. So I'm sure by now most of you have seen the catalog. By the time my videos usually come out for these catalog reviews, you've already seen it because it's been out for a couple hours by now and there's a lot of chatter on social media and things like that. My personal cell phone was buzzing in my backpack for most of the day today. So it, I'm, I'll get caught up on most of that nonsense later on. But it's a great catalog. I have to say kudos to Lionel. We're going to just do a knee jerk reaction video. You don't want to hear me go through each individual thing. We're going to page through the scale stuff, mostly locomotives and, and a couple pieces of freight. There's not a whole lot of freight in this catalog, but we've got some really great offerings. We see some toolings from MTH and some toolings from Lionel as well. And from the cover, we can tell that it's going to be the Vision Line Big Boy, which we knew was coming. We knew this was going to happen. We're going to see a new Big Boy. It's going to have pop off steam as well. And then we saw that the the Dreyfus Hudson is in this catalog as well, which was a pleasant surprise for the New York Central folks. Boy, am I glad I don't collect too much New York Central because I would need all the cars to go with that engine and I don't want to spend that kind of money. But th whenever these catalogs come out, we always bring up a couple different things. First, we bring up price. Yes, it is an expensive hobby. You knew it when you got into this hobby that it was expensive. Prices for everything have gone up. We're paying a lot more for anything that we used to. And prices are starting to come back down. And hopefully we will eventually see that reflected in our catalogs. But for the time being, we're still dealing with a lot of those price increases. It is what it is. You know, if, you, if there's things in here that you can't afford, then don't buy them. Don't pre-order something just to cancel it in six months from the dealer. It, you stick the dealer with that pre-order that you've they've already ordered for you. And, and that puts that out some money. Our local hobby shops are struggling enough. We don't need to be pull, putting them out from pre-orders that you decided to cancel. So don't overextend yourself, right? Go back to my budgeting video. Maybe we have to do an updated budgeting video to just remind people of how to, how to do this responsibly. But let's get right into this catalog. There's some great stuff in here. And so let's start paging through. Let's go. All right, everybody. It is here. It is catalog day. And there's been a lot of a lot of noise out there on the interwebs about this already today, but let's go ahead and take some time and, and go through what Lionel's put out for the 2023 Big Book. Let's go ahead and dive in. So we knew the Big Boy was coming out. That's not much of a surprise. They announced that last year. They did announce that there was going to be some new features in this, including the four-digit addressing for the Cab 3 or the Base 3 which we're still waiting for that to be delivered. I do appreciate that line. I was taking some time to make sure they're getting that right. They also added pop-off steam to these new big boys as well. You can also get it with the depleting coal load, or you can get the oil burning 4014 restoration version here, which if we zoom in, has the big boy check there on the front of the boiler on the smoke box, which is pretty neat. So a couple of different options that they're offering of the big boys. So we see some of the standard ones here. These are giant as always, 32 inches in length with an 072 curve minimum. If we come over to some of the, the other options, they're also providing you with a Greyhound here and then an alternate Greyhound scheme without the yellow striping. And then you can also get 4019 with the elephant ears, which is pretty neat and unique. Now, $28.99 price for these, not super surprised by that. But if we were to go back and look at when these were released last in the volume two catalog, from a few years back, 2019. Let's get through these brass hybrids here. So 21.99 then. So we definitely have a price increase, which we knew we would have. There's everything is more expensive. I'm paying double what I was for eggs, but I don't see people blowing up Instagram about that. So you know we expected these prices to go up. Uh, we also have 21 inch passenger cars. So if you missed those from a few years back, now is your option. Now we know the four pack of these, the price has gone up. It's it's 949.99, so it's expensive. You can get these a little bit lower at a dealer. I wish I would have started picking these up years ago, and so I would only be chipping away now. I do have the MTH cars available. Uh, I have those already, so I don't really need to buy the 21 inch ones, even though these are very, very nice. If I wasn't purchasing any engines, these would probably be something that I would look at. We're gonna move right through. 
They also have the big boy super set. This, this is would be awesome to have. This is loaded. So the people are going to look at the price tag of this and and their heads might explode. But you're thinking about this. You're getting a Vision Line big boy. You're getting the Vision Line reefer three car set. You're getting the Vision Line sheep stock cars, which we'll see in a minute. You're getting a Vision Line a sound box car also. No, let's let's not forget about that. A Freight sounds box car rather. And then you're also getting a Vision Line crew talk caboose so you've got one uh one speaker or multiple speakers here in the engine another uh freight speaker another freight speaker another freight speaker and another freight speaker so this whole thing would be an absolute monster on a layout and if you think about adding all those things up the 44.99 price tag is less than what you would pay if you got all of these things individually so something just to keep in mind this is a killer set. I mean, if I wasn't buying anything else and I had the money, which I don't, that would be really awesome to have. Let's move right through. So we got the Vision Line Reefer packs are back. You have one of these is going to be having sound. The other ones won't. The Great Northern with the goat is really neat. That's pretty cool. Not something that I am looking at. We've also got stock cars are back. We had pig cars last year. This year we have sheep. So you could have had cows. Now then we had pigs, and now we have sheep. So you can continue to add on to your stock car train, which is pretty neat let's move right on through hey look at this the Dreyfus Hudson so this was out when the catalog cover came out that people knew these were going to be in the catalog you have the PT tenders with the water scoop effect that we saw on the vision line Niagara's a few years back we've got this really cool blue paint scheme that's really neat I love this one here if we zoom in it's got the, the, the that blue striping there on the tender to match the 20th century limited cars which we will see on the next page these come in at $17.99 for the PT tender or $16.99 for the regular tender. Here are the 20th Century Limited cars. So if you want to buy this, you can get all the cars with it. You've got a two-pack diner, which we're going to see more of in this catalog. It's kind of a new thing from Lionel. We've got a two-car pack, and then we've got the four-car pack. So you can add the whole Kit Kat and Caboodle there for a, a decent price, but that is going to be a really cool looking train. And boy, am I glad I don't collect too much North, uh, New York Central stuff because this would have been uh, backbreaking. That is, an, uh, this does have the whistle steam in it as well and some road specific detailing. Dreyfus Hudson is really nice. We've got Russian decapods. This is definitely an MTH tooling. Now, the interesting thing about this is it has a wired tether. So we saw the wired tether on the 060s from last year, and we're seeing it again here. Now, the reason for this is the MTH tooling, the way they had the motor and the gearing set up is there's no room inside there for a legacy board. But I am hoping that we will see room inside there for a swinging bell. I don't know if we will or not. I honestly couldn't tell you too much about the mechanics of that magnet system. There is no whistle steam in these as well because they probably could not fit a smoke unit in this area due to the way the motor is mounted. So the wired tether into the tender so the legacy board and electronics will live in there. But pretty neat fan driven smoke unit. It's going to have all that like legacy features. This eerie one stands out to me. The blue boiler It's going to have that Russian iron boiler, which is going to be beautiful if you saw the... NLOE custom run camelback from a few years ago had a beautiful Russian iron boiler to it. That is probably what this color is going to be as well. So if I were to buy any of these, it would have been this one here. These come in at 21 or 20, excuse me, 12.99, 12.99 for those. And then we get to the I1s, the decapods. Now I'm very, very happy to see these in the catalog. I would I want to add one of these to my collection. Now I have a third rail one, an old third rail classic brass model of these. Where it's conventional. It doesn't even have sounds. It does have smoke. And so I'm happy to add a legacy one to my collection. So I'll definitely be trying to acquire one of these. Probably the short tender. I really like the one with the Tuscan roof on it here. So looking at a short tender option. But we'll see these again later in the catalog. These do have whistle steam. They have fan driven smoke. The long haul tender. You get a 13 and a quarter inch locomotive and 13 and three quarter inch tender to go along with it. So the nice thing is this could still actually fit on my turntable, which is 28 inches. The smaller tender, eight and a quarter inches, so a, quite a bit smaller. All of them have those dog houses on the tenders, which is really, really neat. So these are really cool. We then get into some 484 Northern. This is the 2900 class Northern. So different from like your 3751 class. Uh, they out, had some other options to these. So this is the second catalog we've seen some Santa Fe stuff in. So we had the 
the Texas, Santa Fe, Texas was in last year's big book, and now we've got the Northerns, and we've got a semi-war bonnet scheme. They kind of went with more of a black boiler instead of carrying this all the way through. But then they've got a blue goose version, which they I believe they did on the 37 hundred class northerns a few years back. These uh, can operate on 031 curves, it's saying. If we go back to the I1s, the decapods, these can operate on 054 curves. Now, those 10 drive wheels, uh, that might be tough. That might be pushing it, but we'll, we'll have to give it old, the old college try and see. Now, my layout's 072, so I won't have to worry too much about that. Moving through, we got the Camelbacks. These were really popular a few years ago because of their price tag. Coming in at $6.99, so I believe they were $6.50 a couple years ago. We've got some new options, Lackawanna. Here's an Erie one. So again, we've got that Russian iron boiler in there, just like the NLOE custom run from a few years back. A Lehigh and New England version. The Atlantic City Railroad. Now, this was, I believe, the initial name for the Pennsylvania Reading Seashore Line Railroad. And the paint on this is absolutely gorgeous i mean the red striping the red cow catcher the cab you got the russian iron blue even on the drivers and the red in the, in the you know the, the, the side rods really really cool looking and then we've got a pennsylvania here as well it looks like it's got a gray boiler and a black smoke box and some black accents so that's pretty neat as well these do have whistle steam they can operate on 031 curves and they come in at 6.99 Let's go into some diesels. So the E89 AA sets are back. We've got some more Amtraks. Now, before when these came out, they were, I only had one powered unit. And I actually had picked up a set of these in Pennsylvania that I sold. I traded in for some store credit for something that'll be coming in hopefully soon. But now they're offering the Amtrak ones again. These are a different scheme from what they offered before. You've got Southern, Southern Pacific, and then these awesome New York Centrals. Now this is a real scheme. This was done one time. I believe one of these units is in a museum, and these really stand out to me. That would be really cool to pick up. Twelve hundred dollars. They're eleven ninety nine. They're each powered, all right, and they've got some operating ditch lights and uh, some some road specific detailing and whatnot. So really neat. If I'm, I'm doing my best not to want to buy those. Hey, the Aberdeen Caroline Westerns back. We we had to assume this was going to come back. The F units that I was fortunate enough to pick up that were in last year's big book were a hit. And so I'm glad to see them chipping away at some rolling stock. So they've got another two car set here. All right. They've got, they are including dialogue. This says including dialogue from actual AC and W personnel. So they actually went down there. They recorded folks from the railroad and they've got the two pack diner, which will be neat. And it'll be a nice contrast to the other cars. They've added a dome. Now this is not a prototypical dome. For the railroad, I don't believe they have a full dome like this, but this would be cool to add. I definitely want to pick up these diners. It would be nice to contrast with the other four cars that we'll eventually have. And then you can pick up the E units with one. I do not believe they have E units like this, but a cool fantasy scheme. We've got some ES44s and some fantasy schemes and some that are not quite fantasy schemes. These Conrails, I was excited to hear when I heard Conrail was going to be in this catalog, and none of these numbers are the heritage unit that Norfolk Southern put out. So that was kind of disappointing. So we'll see. Maybe I'll snag one. Maybe we'll just wait until Heritage Units come back out at some point in time. We've got some NW2s with Legacy. So those are pretty cool. We've got a bunch of different options there. I'm sure we'll see maybe a custom run from a, a hobby shop or two of these. We get into some GP20s. I don't have any Jeeps on my layout. It would be cool to add a GP20. I would love to see a custom Conrail one so I can grab a Penn Central and a Conrail and put them together. That would be pretty neat. If, if I see a custom Conrail, then that would be the only reason why I would end up buying one of these. And I would probably buy two. So these are pretty neat. A couple of different road names coming in at $649.99. All these prices are MSRP. You can definitely get them for less if you go through a good dealer. This is a cool paint scheme. The Kansas City Terminal with all the striping and everything, that yellow, kind of a B look to it. Pretty neat. All right, let's get into some of the sets here before we wrap this knee-jerk reaction video up. So we've got a Camelback set. So Lehigh Valley, we've got a boxcar, we've got a couple GLA hoppers and a bobber caboose. That's the only bobber caboose I think that's in this catalog. And so that's pretty neat that you could snag that with that set there. We've got Union Railroad hot metal train set. So we've got some gondolas, we've got a couple slag cars in there and then a nice caboose as well. That full set is $12.99. There's some other slag cars in this catalog. This is the one that stands out to me, the Iron Hippo set. So the Iron Hippo is a name that the railroad for the Pensy gave to the Decapods or the I-1s. And so this set comes with six GLA hoppers and 
a nice caboose. And this is a Vision N8 cabin car caboose as well. So it's going to play some freight sounds when it's moving. It has user-activated crew dialogue and has a user-activated air whistle as well. And it's got some great detailing and figures. And it's got an electrocoupler as well. And it's track IR equipped if you have that set up on your layout. So that is coming in at $22.99. I'll tell you what, this one is tempting for me. We could pick up another pack of GLA hoppers. If I were to buy this set, it will probably be the only thing I buy from this catalog just because of the price tag, but it is really, really cool. It comes with a short haul tender. My only fear is that this does not have a Tuscan roof on it, which I would really love to, to see, but it wouldn't be a deal breaker. I do have a couple other GLA hoppers, and I could add another two pack here, and there's some more deeper into the catalog. Rock Island Quad Cities Rocket Set. So you've got the Independence E-Unit, and then we've got a couple passenger cars that go along with that. We've got the Santa Fe Fruit Set, so you've got one of those 484 2900 Series Northerns. We've got a set of Vision Line Reefers, and then we have a Vision Caboose. So lots of sounds coming out of this set as well, which is really neat. Then we get into some of the scale rolling stock. We've got some flat cars with trailers. It would be nice to see if we have these come back out if we get a custom run for Pennsylvania, I know my buddy John would appreciate that. We've got some PS5 gondolas as well. We've got some grain door box cars here. The NA cabin cars that we've seen earlier in the catalog in a couple different areas. Now these are not the sound box cars. These ones are 149.99 MSRP. Nice Penn Central and Conrail versions there. And then we've got a lot of PRR, so we like that. We've got some GLA hopper packs. So I love these interstates. I would probably look at picking up a Maybe these as well to mix in with my PRR. I don't know. We've got some rotary gondolas back. I don't know if they're just trying to get rid of some stock or not. We've got the Detroit Edison bathtubs are back. Pennsylvania Power and Light. A couple options of those. And then BNSF as well. So I think that's a great catalog. I, people are going to, I'm sure someone's going to find something to complain about. There seems to be a group, a contingent of folks that are constantly complaining about something. I choose not to live in that toxic negativity world. This was a great catalog from Lionel. It's got some great offering. It's got mostly early diesel era stuff other than the ES44s. As I mentioned, I wish the Conrail one was the Heritage unit, but maybe we'll see the Heritage units come out again soon, some point in time. The It allows me to focus more on steam. Definitely looking at the, the Decapod. I'm going to have to snag one of those, possibly the set. The stock cars are neat. The sheep cars, that's pretty cool. I wish... Now, looking back, hindsight being 2020, I kind of wish I would have started collecting the stock cars when they originally came out with them. I just had a set and then got the pig cars and now the sheep cars. And then by now I'd have nine cars, which would have been pretty cool. Kind of starting that now is, is difficult to do just because you're out so much money at one time. So probably not going that route, but maybe just getting uh, a decapod or or the Iron Hippo set. We'll have to wait and see. We've got until the middle of February to, to place, to place pre-orders. And so I'll be toying around with some things and, and seeing what we can do. Now, I already have a decapod. I've got a third row decapod that I got back in September. It's a conventional. Plan was to upgrade it to Legacy. So that's at SIDS right now. It's for sale for about 550 bucks or so. If anybody's interested in an old brass, beautiful brass model from third rail, it does not have sound, but it does have smoke. Hit me up. Be happy to, to work out a deal with you on that. It's, it's probably going to have to go. Or maybe we'll, if it doesn't sell, maybe I'll just upgrade it and then have two instead of spending the money on another one from, from this catalog. But great offerings from Lionel. Thank you so much for watching. What, what are you ordering? What are your thoughts on the things that are listed? Pricing we can't do anything about. So let's stay out of the muck on that. But what, what things stuck out to you? The Dreyfus Hudson's nice, as I mentioned. I don't need it, though. I'm going to continue to tell myself that I don't need it. I'm going to lean on my friends to convince me not to buy things that I don't need for my collection. And that's one that I probably don't. So we don't need any of this stuff if we're being honest, but it is fun to keep collecting. So thank you all so much for watching. Have a great time perusing through this catalog on your own and, and placing your pre-orders and eventually we'll see them arrive. Look forward to some more things arriving here on the layout soon and we'll check out some more hobby shops as well. Have a great day, everyone.